Hi guys, this is Nate with BD Outdoors. I'm here at Pacific Freedom in Long Beach. I'm with Mike Detmers, the owner. We have a killer fishing machine behind us here. It's the Roballo R360. Mike, tell us a little bit about this boat. Yeah, the 360 is awesome. It's a 36 foot, 11 four beam. It's gonna be an awesome boat to get out to the fishing grounds quick. We should get a closer look, but this is gonna be the machine. All right, so right off the bat, this is an extremely sexy boat. Has awesome lines on it. For our audience here, what's up with the hole design? What are those chimes we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, so this, this hole is actually designed by Michael Peters, longtime step hole developer. So they actually worked with him to develop the R360. They didn't you know, go and try to design their own hole. They actually grabbed one of the guys that's a legend in the industry and designed this step hole. It's really gonna help with ride, help planing quickly, and with the fuel efficiency. One of the other features on this hull, you can see it's got quite a bit of flare here. That's yeah. gonna keep the spray down in those rougher conditions you were just talking about. I love it. Yeah, it's, there's nothing a boat owner hates more than getting wet on the water, particularly when it's windy. Coming in with that wind after a long day of fishing and having to deal with being wet the whole ride home, it just sucks. Let's check out the power real quick. Absolutely. Y Yamaha is actually Robal's exclusive partner in all of their center consoles. So this has got triple 300s, so a total of 900 horse on this guy. Gets it up and going, top speed of 60. It's gonna cruise about 38. Ooh. We'll do 0 0.9 to maybe one at that 38 miles an hour. So, you know, range and fuel efficiency is good. Yeah. You're gonna get, you know, your 360, 370, you know, out of a tank of fuel. So yeah, you're definitely capable of getting out, doing some trolling and getting back quickly. Yeah, I think the Yamaha speak for themselves. I mean, they've been around forever. They're incredibly reliable. They have their performance. They're beautiful looking engines. And yeah, key to the SoCal fishery is really just getting out there quick, right? And covering ground. These bluefin, they move a lot day to day. They can move up to 60 miles in a day or more sometimes. And just yeah. covering a ton of ground is so important and doing that quickly. Doing it quickly, having the fuel, you know, it's 350 gallon tank. So you've got plenty of range to get out to Tanner and do your thing and get yeah. back. Awesome. Let's take a look inside real quick and check out the interior on this boat. So Mike, one of the first things I noticed about the boat from the exterior is you have not one, but two killer fish doors. And that's awesome because you don't have to worry about gapping the side of your boat, damaging your gel coat. It does actually have attaching dive ladders as well. And then another thing I just wanted to point out to, the, to our audience is this rocket launcher setup we have, which Honey. looks like it has hinges yeah, it does, to it. It does actuate, it's actually on electric. Uh, actuator, so it's going to come down, easier to reach, the poles up top. Oh, so it's electric? It is electric, so you basically got a button. That's awesome. Yeah, you can get to your rods easier. Launchers all across the back. Very cool. Here in the transom. And then you've yeah. got your trolling you know, launchers off the gunnels on either side. I've noticed it's been kind of a common theme with boats where the rocket launchers are just, I'm not a tall guy. It's but tough to they're tough to get to, and that just makes life so much easier on this on this boat. So let me ask you this, Mike. Yellowfin are close, they're biting. Smaller fish, where do I put my bait? So this boat's got twin 30-gallon live wells, so either side of the transom here. Cool. You'll see you've got a total of 60 gallons between the two of them. Awesome. If you're uh, lucky enough to get a catch that day, you've got 125-gallon kill boxes on either side of the transom Two back of here them. as well. So one on each side, 125 gallons each. Wow. So 60 gallons of bait, 250 gallon storage capacity for fish. Awesome. Yeah. Fishing machine. So this cockpit looks like a sports car. Some of the cool features here, you got twin 16 inch sim rads, full electronics package. This thing's got open array radar. It's got the Hellmaster 360, which is you know awesome around the docks, right? Because you're able to control yep. you know, your slow speed maneuverability, but it's actually rad when you're out on a paddy, you can spot lock it, drift point, keep the attitude of the boat, the direction that you want it to be, you know, kind of while you're drifting. So not only is it cool for dock areas and, and putting the boat where you want it, it's awesome out on the paddy fishing as well. Yeah, yeah, the spot lock is a game changer for the paddy fishing, for rock fishing, for anything that requires resetting on kind of an untangible spot while dealing with wind and the current and stuff like that. And one thing I really like about this, this cockpit as well, other than the amazing finish, is the fact that everything is at eye level. When I'm looking forward, I can see everything in front of me. Obviously, we're open to the sides here, but I notice 
with a lot of different center console models, they're really standing boats, they're not sitting boats. And we're sitting right now and I can see everything full 180 degrees and it just seems like everything's laid out in an extremely well thought out manner. Yeah, they spent a lot of time trying to bridge that gap between is it going to be a standing boat or a sitting boat and you know, as you can see you're sitting but when you flip the bolsters up, you're standing, the wheel's in the right spot. Again, yeah, you can totally see over the bow, the bow rise isn't an issue. I mean, it's a very, very visible boat. Another thing, just looking around too, is this JL Audio sound system you have throughout the boat. These subwoofers to the left of me look a little intimidating, but yeah. awesome at the same time. You can put the part, the party comes with. I mean, it's actually two 10-inch subs, a ton of separate JL Audio speakers, stuff up in the cockpit when it comes to you know getting out to the fish or hanging with the family and, and just having a you know day on the water this thing yeah. doesn't disappoint when it comes to the you know sound technology that's for sure walking up into the front of the boat it's massive right ton of seating the cushions all come right out there's a uh, platform that'll make this all big casting deck up front so it doesn't have to be you know the full comfort luxury feel you can Rip cushions out, you've got a non-skid platform that'll go in. Mm -hmm. Big chase lounge here, some storage underneath the deal here. And that's actually that platform, so that comes out of there oh, wow. and sets right inside, or it becomes a table. So either way, you can have cool. you know, sandwiches you know, on the table, or you can put the lower mount in and you've got the full you know, walk around casting platform up front. All right, so this is really cool. We put the platform in here. So what used to be an area that was designated for seating with cushions, et cetera, kind of more of a luxury area on the bow. Now this is just a straight casting area. It's very, very sturdy. I can't even tell that we just put this in. Um, lots of room, just high enough on the rail here to where I feel totally secure casting. Tons of space, more than enough for two people throwing, throwing jigs at tuna or whatever they're seeing. And yeah, it's just an awesome platform all the way around. I would love to fish it. So this is an incredible boat, clearly. The attention to detail, the fishability, everything down to the stitching and the leather, the electronics that are included. I mean, I'm in the stern of the boat right now. You can see there's just tons of fishing room. And for a boat this size, a 36-foot boat, I notice it's rather beamy. What are the dimensions in terms of the beam? Yeah, it is wide, right? It's 11 four, yeah. which is typically going to be bigger than what you're seeing in this size, range, right? For sure. So, getting up to the rail, yeah, you got plenty of room. Yeah, I notice walking towards the front here. I've noticed on a lot of center consoles, the main issue is you know you see something off the bow and you want to run up and cast. A lot of times, there's rod storage somewhere in here. Someone's running, they clip a reel and a rod flies off. I mean, I'm not, I'm facing forward and I'm not touching anything. Gives you plenty of room to run to the bow and I think that just makes this boat even more of a fish killing machine. Mike, I want to thank you for your time today. This is an incredible boat, an absolute fishing machine. Uh, if our audience wanted to get a hold of you and check out this model, what would they do? Who would they go to? So they can go online to pacificfreedom.com come out to our Long Beach store. We're right at the Marina Shipyard in Long Beach off the 2nd PCH. You can see the boat live here anytime. Awesome. All right, guys, check out the Rivalas that Mike has here in inventory. They're awesome boats, absolute weapons for SoCal.